everyone, welcome to CyberScoop TV. Greg Otto, your managing editor here. We're coming to you from the floor of the 2018 RSA conference. I'm talking with John Todd, the executive director of Quad9. John, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, for those not familiar with Quad9, what is it all about? Sure. Uh, Quad9 is a, an open public DNS recursing resolver with security features. So what that means is that we offer a service for no cost that anybody in the world can use uh, as, a, as a DNS resolver. Every server or every computer or every Internet of Things device needs to talk to a DNS recursive resolver to get DNS results. So we offer that at no cost, but what we do is we include a block list. We've got several million different hosts that are fed to us by about 19 different threat intelligence providers. Uh, so we combine all those and put that into the DNS server so that when a host tries to connect to one of these malicious sites, we don't give them an answer. Basically, we reject the request, so protecting them from connecting to that malicious site. So Quad9, I know the name actually sure. means something, so talk about like the actual application, like how do I use your DNS resolver if sure. it's for free? Sure, Quad9 refers to 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 .9. So uh, it's a very easily memorable address because the first thing you need to do in order to resolve DNS is that you actually, it's the, it's the only IP address that you actually need to hard code into a system because that bootstraps the whole DNS process. So we chose a very memorable address. Actually, one of our sponsors, IBM, provided that to us out of their 9 slash 8. They have one 256th of the internet, okay. and they kindly gave us one 256th of that uh, for Quad9. So uh, you put that into the settings in your DNS configuration, whether that's in your home router that hands out DHCP, or whether it's in the actual laptop or Internet of Things device, you put 9.9.9.9 in for where it says DNS resolver, and then that means all your queries go out to the Quad9 system, which is then has hundreds of servers scattered around the world. So, I know it was released a few months ago. Can you talk to me about the growth that you've seen so far? Sure. Uh, we released in November of last year. Uh, we had actually been running in a beta for about a year prior to that okay. with uh, a number of different state, local governments, universities, and enterprises using it. Um, so we had roughly around a million users at that point. We went public in November, and we've since grown about 27-fold as of, I think, yesterday, looking at the numbers, about 27-fold in our quantity of, of uh, volume. And we've gone from, gone from 100 sites where we have this server, we have these servers scattered around the world, gone to 100 to 116. Our target for 2018 is 150 locations, again, getting us closer to end users to give them better performance with this, with this, uh, this security and privacy features added in. Great, so with this DNS resolver, it's a very, very simple tool. I use it myself. Great. Um, it speaks to basic cyber hygiene, which is something that we hear a lot about, whether it, it is a user or people in the enterprise, whether it's just your workforce on an endpoint. Kind of talk to me about the lessons learned that you're seeing and what needs to be done in order to get people to understand basic cyber hygiene practices. Sure, so um, so some of the lessons learned are that, that it's very difficult to get that basic first layer of stuff cut away. Quad9 is a really good first step to basic cyber hygiene. It's not a full solution. We still recommend that people run antivirus software and other protections that are stronger, right, but, but most people don't. Uh, which is the sad truth. And so Quad9 can give them a really good defense at that first layer where we're preventing really malicious sites from getting to them in the first place. Um, we've seen great uptake in this, uh, both in enterprise, because there's no contract, there's no, they don't even, they, in fact, we don't want to know who the end users are. Okay. Because of privacy issues, right. we'd, we'd prefer not to know who end users are. So, but there's no contract, there's no friction. Uh, so enterprise, education are really picking this up, but then end users as well, especially, uh, of course, here in North America and Western Europe, but then in other areas of the world where antivirus is just non-existent entirely, uh, this has seen great uptake as well because we have servers out in some very lesser served locations around the world. So this is a really great first step for people to protect themselves against the, the easiest things to, to shave away in the security model. Great. John, appreciate your insight. Thanks for stopping by and talking with us. Thanks for your time. Today. Thanks. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube channel. And for more on DNS resolving and all things cybersecurity, check out cyberscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto, thanks for watching.